social universe where you learn the secrets of the social media as well as, in many cases, the secrets of the universe itself all through the social universe. So uh, keep uh, tuning in, tell your friends about, uh, about the show. Um, we wanted to uh, talk in this segment by uh, learning a little bit about the experience and there's no better way to uh, go learn about an event and experience the event uh, if you weren't there than to just go find it and watch it, right? So um, anybody who is interested can go to the Social Universe YouTube channel um, and uh, type in Miss Arab USA 2012 and you'll be able to uh, see a lot of the footage uh, from the show. But um, tell us, uh, what is if they want to go to the official Miss Arab USA YouTube channel, what's the exact channel name? It's Miss Arab USA. Miss Arab USA. Why would it be anything other? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and uh, also there's a Facebook page as well. It would be Miss Arab USA as well. That's right. Okay. And Twitter? Miss Arab USA. Miss Arab USA, okay. So go look it up by, um, in all the different aspects and of the social MySpace, media. And MySpace, which is old fashioned now, but <laughs> still MySpace is Miss Arab USA. Oh, okay, yeah, true. true. MySpace is still out there for entertainment. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, a, it's a great uh, venue for, for entertainment uh, venues. Um, or you should say a good venue for the entertainment uh, side of things. Um, and then the website, once again, while we're on the subject. It's www.missarab.org. Okay, MissArabUSA.org or Miss Arab? Org. Miss Arab USA dot org, Miss Arab USA, Miss Arab USA dot org, Miss Arab USA dot com, Miss Arab dot org, what? Whatever you name it, dot <laughs> net, dot biz, you dot name it. <laughs> <laughs> all all, right. all is going to take it from one place. Okay, wonderful. So uh, go there and look at the footage. Um, there's a lot of uh, dancing and singing and some it, it just very richly cultural the things that you don't normally get in in uh, pageants that that I, I wish were there. You know, it uh, it was an amazing experience. So. Um, and then, uh, of course, this radio show itself will also be uh, uh, filmed and put up on YouTube. Um, and uh, what a great experience to, to be able to watch a, a pageant winner and learn a little bit about that experience in, inside. So, um, what are some? Uh, how does somebody become qualified to become? You know, what qualifications are you looking for in a pageant winner? I mean, you're just looking for the most beautiful person. I'm sure that's not the case. Um, but tell us a little bit about the qualifications. What should participants be uh, thinking about if they're going to participate? It's very simple qualifications. Uh, first of all, the age it's in between 18 to 27 years old. Um, you have 50% uh, Arab origin. That means you or one of your parents has been born uh, born in an Arab country. Okay. You don't have to be born in Arab country, but one of your parents could be born in Arab country. Mm -hmm. um, the second, to understand Arabic and speak Arabic. It doesn't have to read and write. Okay. And the last thing is uh, to be resident of the United States for a minimum of the last six months. Okay. And that's it. Very simple, very easy. Um, very good. Um, and, uh, and I think uh, when it comes to contest winners, yes, definitely beauty is a part of it. Um, but um, what are some of the other uh, uh, parts? I don't want you to, to, to just disclose the entire judge sheet, but you know, what are some of the different areas that, they, that the judges do look for in, uh, in rating? Uh, the winners? judge is more looking for the beauty of the frame. It's mm -hmm. not the beauty of the body as we, would, we don't like to treat a woman as a piece of meat. Sure. We would like to treat a woman with her knowledge, education, intelligence, personality, characters. That, this is the, the, the areas where the judge is looking at the contestants. Okay, very good. Um, and I would definitely say that uh, Suzanne uh, fits the beauty of the brain and uh, and then I guess it was just an absolute luck that she turned out to, to uh, look like uh, any other beautiful pageant winner. <laughs> um, I shouldn't say any other, but uh, be beautiful as others are. Um, so Suzanne, what was the experience like? You know, so many uh, people wanted to be able to talk to a pageant winner and wonder, you know, was it easy? Was it hard? Was, what things were surprisingly difficult? What things maybe were easy that you thought were going to be hard? It was, it was hard. Uh, it was very, well, the process was long each day. You know, we were up at the same time every day and we just rehearsed all day. The dances that you saw us do, the, um, the dance in the pink and black, yeah. so the Masadi song, I can't dance. So it, it was so, so hard and we rehearsed after, you know, 11 o'clock at night, 1 o'clock in the morning when everybody was asleep and choreography, would, our choreography teacher was gone, we would just rehearse, 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 rehearse. Um, so coffee was my best friend. 
And uh, so we just spent a lot of time rehearsing and really trying to get it down. And uh, keeping a positive attitude was was a lot more difficult than I thought. I'm a pretty optimistic person, but sometimes you just you know you're just tired. You're physically tired. I couldn't figure out the choreography at some at some point. So it was frustrating, and you just wanted it. You just wanted to stay positive. So if any for any future girls that wanna fly, I would say just you know stay positive. They're always there's always somebody watching you. Um, so it, it was. So you know, you just kind of kept up that that good energy and that good spirit, and you just kind of remember what your end goal was. Um, we made amazing friendships along the way. I mean, you're with 20 girls for a very very long period of time, so you, it just kind of happens. And it's interesting because everybody was so different. So to kind of mesh all those personalities together was uh, was very fascinating. But it always it just worked. It worked out really well. So it was hard. It was a lot of fun. Um, by the time we actually got on stage, everything, it, actually if you watch the YouTube clip of me doing the Masadi dance, I got so excited that I was like three steps ahead of everybody in the dance. <laughs> I, it, it, was, it was so mortifying, but I think I just got a little too excited that I finally locked down dance music after <laughs> rehearsing all week. Most people are three steps behind, so three steps ahead, I probably did <laughs> it okay. <laughs> it's hard oh, to perform good. something like that, especially when we know that Masari is already sitting in front of you watching his song, how, how these girls will be performing on it. That's song. true. The, the, en there. the entertainment was amazing and, and world class. So, um, yeah, there's there, you know, no pressure on no, that No, no pressure at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. And you guys did a great job. Um, and uh, And I'm sure not too many people noticed you were three steps ahead. Oh, I really hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, you won, so maybe the judges didn't even notice. <laughs> Well, that's great. Um, so there was uh, you, you know, acting was your was a strength of yours. Uh, that was my talent. Yes. Da dancing was not, it's as not you said. No. Um, and uh, um, is the singing is something that is is a background of yours or not? No, I sing the car. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, don't, I don't sing either. You never know where that would go. My my son is at uh, Phoenix Boys Choir Camp right now um, because he used to belt it out in the shower all the time, and we just put him in front of a in the audition, and he made it. So there you go. Yeah, so you just never know. <laughs> What you have inside you, <laughs> and I think that's kind of the messaging is that you know somebody who I mean you weren't a you weren't a career pageant winner, correct? No, I never ever imagined that I would ever do a pageant. I, I'm just, I just wasn't that kind of girl. I never thought I was that type of person. That would I've never competed in anything either. I'm, really? I'm not a competitive person. I don't like to compete. It just okay. I, I just get so scared and petrified. So I really put myself out there this time. Wow, that's uh, that's amazing. So you don't even have to be competitive. Everybody has these kind of the bridezilla view of <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of things. And you know, I hear that a lot about pageants. Not that not the bridezilla side, but the, how many friends are actually made during the pageant. And I think there's a really uh, warm side to the pageants. A lot of people kind of overlook because it's not dramatic. Yeah, you know, it's not as dramatic as people bring, think. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you're right. And I could tell there was a lot of friends, a lot of happy people, even. There were some sad. There were some sad faces that they, they didn't win, but I could tell that they were happy for you, and which I thought uh, it was commendable for everybody there. Definitely. Um, so uh, we have. It looks like just about one minute before the the end of the show. Are there uh, any parting comments that either one of you would like to make for those who would either like to apply or participate in the next year with the events that are coming up? Uh, just Facebook page. Just to prepare uh, yourself, uh, it's not a competition like any other competition. It's more about knowledge and education. Um, it's not more about your body measures and how you look uh, blonde, uh, blue eyes. So um, don't be scared to compete because that's how you can prove yourself. How, that's how you can build more about your personality and get stronger. Especially, uh, even if you lose, you got to win with 20 uh, other friendship with new uh, girls. So uh, you're gonna win something for sure at the end. So I don't, uh, I, I encourage every girl to compete and, and apply for this passion. Definitely, I would recommend that too. Okay, there, there's no losers in the whole event and uh, winners throughout. Um, uh, Suzanne, how about you? Is there anything that you would like to, to share as part of any comments? Uh, if I can just plug my Facebook fan page, sure. it's um, Miss Arab USA, Suzanne Aslam, A-S-L-A-M, that's how you spell my last name. 
Let me set up USA 2012. Oh, sorry, Miss Arab USA 2012, <laughs> Suzanne Oslam. Oh, okay, very good. As well as MissArabUSA.org and any of the other extensions you want to put in, we'll redirect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is there a, a probably no phone numbers? You probably to the uh, most of the you just want traffic to the website, correct? The uh, website it's MissArab.org, and uh, if anyone have a question, just send your email to info at MissArab.org. Excellent. And thanks again for everybody joining us uh, at The Social Universe. We look forward to tuning in next week from 2 to 3 Arizona Standard Time.